Hey Art Nerds, we are going to be talking about the element of color. Now color is essentially light reflecting off objects back into our eye and color is actually in a linear spectrum, meaning a line, but in art in a lot of ways we organize color in a, what we call a color wheel. And a standard color wheel has 12 colors in it. It has the three primary colors, the three secondary colors, and then it has a bunch of these in-between colors, and we call them tertiary colors. In grade school, even I learned that the primary colors are blue, red, and yellow. And you're going to be quite surprised because those are not the primary colors. The primary colors are cyan, magenta, and yellow, okay? You actually can get this confirmed just by going to your local store at, where you can find printer ink, and you'll find that if you're buying printer ink, it has four colors in it, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, C-M-Y-K, which is, was baffling to me when I first learned about it, but then I tested out the colors, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little experiment, okay? I know that with cyan, uh, with uh, red, blue, and yellow, okay, if those are my primary colors, that means my secondary colors are green, and we have orange, and then we will also have purple, okay? And I know what colors I need to mix them, okay? So I'm going to start by making green, okay? I know that green is when I mix my yellow with my blue, so I should be able to get a green. And that, it's kind of like a dark teal. It's not quite right. Moving on, moving on. Okay, maybe it's just that one. So when I try to make orange, that is supposed to be with red and yellow. This probably works. Um, it's kind of like a red-orange-ish, kind of, kind of. Well, we got one more. We got one more. We're going to try purple. This one's sure to work. So got my blue and then let's mix in my red to make a purple. Once again, it doesn't quite mix right. Like it's kind of purple, but it kind of looks bad. Okay. So, I mean, that's what I learned. It's supposed to work. Okay. Um, when you're working with a uh, cyan, magenta, and yellow, if you're using that color wheel, you should be able to mix magenta and yellow together and you get red. You should be able to mix uh, cyan and yellow together and get green. And you should be able to mix your magenta and cyan together to get a dark blue or just a regular blue actually. Okay. Notice how the secondary colors are not the same with these different sets of primary colors, okay? And I'll show you how that looks on the color wheel. Now, we're going to make our red first. So that means I need to take yellow, going to fill up my space, and we're going to mix in some magenta. And um, it made red. Well, that worked. How about green? Green is some cyan. Fill that up really nice. Boom. And let's add some yellow. And would you look at that? It made green. How about this last one? We should be able to mix cyan and magenta together. And I should be able to make blue. a little bit more purpley, but I mean, even if you go by which one turned out better, we got two out of three and we got zero out of three over here. So I'm assuming that this probably is the ones I want to go for. So I'm actually going to make my color wheel. I'm going to use my cyan, magenta, and yellow. And you actually can tell that these mix a lot better, especially when you're working with uh, pigments. So working with paint or even working with a uh, really fancy markers called Copic markers. Those are super awesome. But if we are trying to organize our color wheel, okay, now with our official primary colors, 
um, your primary colors are kind of evenly spaced on the color wheel. So they'll be making kind of a triangle. So I'm just going to put magenta at the top. I'm going to throw in some cyan here on the corner. Notice how there's three spaces in between. And then I'm going to get my yellow here. And notice how they all have three spaces in between each of these colors. Okay. So those are my primary colors. When these two mix together, I get an orange. So let's get that orange in there. Oh, red. Man almost ruined it and Sharpies can't be erased. So I get my red. Cheating this time by using a red Sharpie. And then if I mix these two together, I get a blue. I mean, it works in printers, so I guess it just doesn't work as well when I play with Sharpies. And then when I mix these two together, I get a green. Lovely. All right. So this third type of color, okay, we have the primaries right here that you can't make. They, you can't mix them to, uh, to get either of these. These are just, they just are, okay. I can't mix together colors to get magenta, cyan, or yellow. But I can mix together two to get red blue and green okay so primary colors secondary colors because you use two primary colors to make them and then we have these tertiary colors in between okay um, some people call them intermediate colors and this is basically what happens when you mix a primary and a secondary together so one that you probably know is orange okay because you mix red and yellow together you get orange so that still works guys um, and then we also have um, let's get some yellow green in here. Yellow plus green equals yellow green. All right. This is sort of like a green cyan. So a mixture of those two. Lovely. If we mix together our cyan and our blue, we'll probably have sort of a darker cyan. So like an in-between here. Beautiful. And the other one you probably really know is if we mix our magenta and blue together, that's when we get a really nice purple, actually. We mix magenta and blue. And then lastly, we have the in-between here. And I didn't have a Sharpie that kind of matched, but it's like a magenta red. Okay, mine's a little dark. But it works just the same. Okay. So, like I was saying, we have our primary colors. They are right here. Our cyan magenta and our yellow okay those are the primaries P for primary beautiful secondary colors right here red green and blue are your secondary colors because you use two primary colors to mix them okay and then you have the tertiary colors in between okay so this is kind of like you know an idea of like how color works okay how it's set up and how they um, have a relationship with each other which is why we put it in the wheel in the first place